Now a really good way to make use of the winter sun is to hang some portable solar panels on the side of your van just like this. I'm getting quite a lot of power from those panels so I'm really pleased. Now anyway, today's Wednesday so this is Waffle on a Wednesday where I answer your questions to the best of my ability. So let's jump in the van and take a look at some of your comments. Boy, we got some nasty ones this week. <laughs> We're not going to worry about that. Well, here we are back in the van. It's such a shame to be in the van on such a lovely day, but it really is quite noisy outside. So I have to come in the van to make this video for your viewing pleasure and your entertainment. Now, like I was saying outside, I've had quite a few negative comments on my channel this week, some nasty ones as well, but it's okay because all those nasty negative comments are pretty much neutralized thanks to all the positive comments I get. And I do get more positive energy than I do negative. So thank you to everyone. I really do that when I say thank you to everybody that takes the time to leave positive comments because after all I'm only human and all that negativity would really drag me down if it wasn't for you guys holding me up and supporting me so thank you so with all that out of the way let's take a look at some of the hashtag waffle on a Wednesday quick questions we have <laughs> and our first hashtag quick question comes from Angela Dawn old trading wizard will have a few trolling buddies not quite sure who trading wizard is but i'm sure we'll find out later on if he's left a trolling comment we'll come back to that later <laughs> the quick question is would the jackery perform differently if it was fully charged now i think angela's referring to the test that i did on the jackery 2000 pro when i plugged it into my diesel heater to see if it would run it and unfortunately it didn't manage to run the diesel heater but like angela says it was down to 32 percent from memory so what I'll do, I will charge the jackery right up and I will plug it into my diesel heater later on just to see if it does actually work. So I shall add that clip at the end of this video. So keep watching for those of you that are interested to see if the jackery performs differently, fully charged rather than only charged at 32%. Good question, Angela. And to be honest with you, I did actually think that myself. So keep watching and I'll add a clip of me plugging the jackery in again once it's fully charged. We'll see if it can run, run my diesel heater. Right, next question. Investing in crypto would... Oh, investing in crypto. Why do people put that in my comments? That one's getting removed. <laughs> we'll ignore that. Don't quite know how that one managed to get through. Hi Mel, the Russian super quiet pumps need to be primed. The Russian super pumps. Yeah, we don't want to talk about the Russians. Hashtag waffle on a Wednesday. Quick question, Mel. Does the smoke coming out of the flue from the log burner make the solar panels dirty? Love the channel. That comes from Graham Moore. And Stacey Lahave also says, hashtag waffle on a Wednesday. Quick question. Does the smoke coming out of your chimney make your solar panels dirty? Love your channel. Big love heart. Thank you, Stacey. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get the ladder out, get on the roof, and we'll have a look at those solar panels. Because to be honest, I don't really know. And I'd be interested to find out. So let's get the ladder out, jump on the roof, and see how dirty my solar panels really are. I'll grab some of this tissue to take up with me. Let's have a look, shall we? Great question. Let's find out. Right, so here's my wood burning flue. Here's my solar panel. White piece of paper. Let's have a quick wipe. Oh yeah, look, they do get a bit dirty. Put a bit of spit on it. <laughs> See what that looks like. Yeah, so that answers that question. So there you go, Stacey and Graham. I do need to clean my solar panels. And to clean my panels, I use this plant-based non-toxic cleaner. Works really well. I'll just do this and I'll get back to you. There you go, brilliant. Right, let's get back in the van, carry on with this week's waffle on a Wednesday. Well, there you go, that was interesting, wasn't it? So once again, thank you to Graham Moore and Stacey Lahaf. Thank you for reminding me to clean my solar panel on the roof. And the next question comes from Ian Walker, hashtag waffle on a Wednesday. Hi Mel, was worth waiting for your review of the Bluetti AC200 Max. I'm not sure if you remember me from back in July when I asked if your AC200's fan was also switching on and off a lot. Yes, it does kind of pulse on and off 
um, including the little power brick I've got as well. Depends if the engine's running or not, how much solar's coming into it. It only tends to switch on and off when it is actually charging. When it's discharging, the fan doesn't really cut in. So hopefully that answers that question. But anyway, Ian Walker goes on to say that he's actually using his AC200 Max in his house with six 150 watt flexible solar panels on his shed roof my goodness me so uh, he's basically using it to power his entire house <laughs> so there you go that's another advantage of having a portable power pack in your van you can actually take it out of your van and take it into your house and use it to save some money on electricity in your house and i think i touched on that a couple of weeks ago and this is why ian has left this comment Hashtag waffle on a Wednesday. Hi Mel, quick question. We love a quick question. This comes from Captain Coxie Boy. Quick question for next week. I've bought an EcoFlow Delta 2 to run my whole van when it's built. Unlike your Bluetti, however, which has a 30 amp 12 volt outlet, my Delta 2 only has a 10 amp max output. Was thinking of using this down one side of the van. Do you think this would work or would you suggest any other alternatives now that I'm committed to the Delta? Thanks in advance. All the best, Neil. Well, Neil, I think you will have no problem running your entire van from a 12 volt 10 amp outlet. All but maybe you'll have problems getting your diesel heater to work. So if I was you, before you install anything in your van, I would make sure that it will run a diesel heater. Now I have had success running diesel heaters from various power packs in the past and I've also had failures trying to run a diesel heater as we saw last week. But that doesn't really help answer your question. So if I was you, I would charge up your Delta 2, plug a diesel heater into it, and make sure the diesel heater works. If it does, then you're good to go. I hope that answers your question and good luck with your van build. Now sticking with the power banks or commonly known as solar generators. <sighs> Weeping John says, or we pig John, I've not come across a power bank that's anywhere near as economic a buy. They are all absolute garbage, overpriced rubbish. Any YouTuber that bigs these boxes up must be around the twist. You guys are being used. Half the companies selling these boxes will no longer be around in two years time. And all these five year guarantees of use will be worthless. Nutters, a lot of you. Scam, that's all it is. Scam. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face. Well, weeping John, if you actually took the time to watch the entire Jackery video that I recently made, you will realise that I did not big up the Jackery Explorer 2000. In fact, I quite honestly tore it apart. So uh, I suggest you watch my last Jackery video and you will see that I don't actually big it up, as you say. <laughs> But thanks for the funny comment anyway. And the only reason you're not this week's Troll of the Week is because there are some lot worse comments being made over that video. So with that in mind, let's have this week's Troll of the Week. Troll of the Week. Well, Angela Dawn was absolutely right. This week's Troll of the Week is Trading Wizard and his friends. Yes, he's got some friends, even though he is this week's Troll of the Week. So let's read out some of his comments. He had quite a bit of a rant going here. <laughs> so Trading Wizard starts off by saying, Stop doing it then. How many do you need? I think he's referring to power packs that I've got. <laughs> you can never have enough power packs, old mate. <laughs> but yeah, well, I've got quite a few and I don't really need any more. So uh, I'll probably probably won't be doing any more power pack video reviews not for a long time anyway but anyway his friend simple mind jumps in on the bandwagon and says i don't get paid but i receive a free battery bank unsubscribed you are just like the rest i used to like you mel i'm sorry simple mind if you take offense to me doing video reviews for your enjoyment and your entertainment but you know i can't force you to watch my videos so Thanks for sticking around as long as you did. I really appreciate it. And thanks for leaving the comment. So anyway, Trading Wizard, Trading Wizard carries on and says, So boring. There is millions of battery bank reviews on YouTube. If you have nothing good to put out on YouTube, then just wait until you do. Well, Trading Wizard, thanks to you, I've got something really good to put out. And that is this week's Waffle on Wednesday featuring you as Troll of the Week. And all thanks to you leaving your sarcastic comments. So thank you. 
And it doesn't end there. Another Trading Wizards fan jumps in on the bandwagon, smoking rider says, I don't get paid, but they give me 2K's worth of stuff, so I couldn't say no. Absolutely, I couldn't say no. I mean, would you say no to over £2,000 worth of stuff for just a day's work? Well, actually, that video took me two days to work, to make. Yeah, a day filming and another day editing. <laughs> yeah, would you say no to two grand for that? Of course you wouldn't. Now, Mike K couldn't resist on jumping in on the conversation either, and he says, So sorry, usually like your vids, but like many other advertising power bank, we full time and watching your vids, no way practical. A generator makes more sense 600 watts of solar plus two 100 lithium and 2000 watt inverter. <laughs> well done, Mike. Um, I can't really run a generator in a residential street, I don't think the neighbours would be too pleased. And try running a generator, a generator. <laughs> And Mike, try running a generator on a campsite. I don't think you'll be very popular then either. And besides, I think you'll find solar generators a lot more environmentally friendly than petrol generators. And a lot more socially acceptable as well. Now, I'd like to say thank you to Joe Lyon for saying, at Trading Wizard, then don't watch. It's simple. And then Jake the Muse ends this conversational string by saying, Troll of the Week. <laughs> Absolutely, Jake. Well done. Hit the nail on the head. So let's lighten the mood by reading out a comment from one of my biggest fans, and that is Liam the Terrible. And if you haven't heard of Liam the Terrible, he's a professional camper van builder. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video. And Liam left a comment on one of my recent videos where I'm boiling a kettle on an induction cooktop to see how long it actually takes to boil said kettle. And Liam simply says, we have matching kettles. Big love heart. Actually, Liam, the kettle's not mine. It belongs to Rebecca. So you and Rebecca have matching kettles. <laughs> <laughs> I really must return that kettle to Rebecca. But anyway, thanks for the comment and good luck with your most recent van build. Remember, keep it simple, keep it safe. <laughs> thanks for the videos. I've seen Van City Van Life run a diesel heater off a Jackery before, and that comes from Expedia Travels. You're absolutely right. I do believe that Chrome does run his diesel heater in his workshop off of his Jackery. So on that note, I'm going to charge up the Jackery 2000 and see if it will run my diesel heater fully charged. Be right back. Now before we go any further I'd like to point out this isn't a promotional video. I'm not getting paid to make this video. In fact Jackery don't even know that I'm making this video. I'm doing this purely as an experiment to answer Angela Dawn's original question at the beginning of this video and also to satisfy my own curiosity. <sighs> Right, with that out of the way, let's just recap on why I'm doing this. So in my original Jackery review video, I plugged in a diesel heater via my main fuse box in my van to see if the Jackery could run a diesel heater and unfortunately it wasn't able to do it. But this, as Angela Dawn said, the Jackery was only at 30%. So now it's at 100%, we're going to try the same experiment again. And like I say, this is to answer Angela Dawn's question and to satisfy my own curiosity as well. It's not a paid promotion. And once again, I'm going to use my cigarette lighter plug that is wired up directly to my main fuse board in my van and see if the Jackery can run the diesel heater. But before I plug this in, I need to switch off my Bluetti because we don't want two power packs connected up to my main fuse box. Things might go bang and we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to plug this in for now so it's ready. It's not switched on because I, like I say, I need to switch off the Bluetti first. Now just before I turn off the Bluetti via the app, I'll just show you the screen on the Jackery so you can see that it is actually charging at 100%. If I put my hand over that light so you can see the screen. It's very difficult to film these screens. There you are, it's at 100% state of charge. So let's go ahead, turn off this. I'm going to turn my torch on first because it is going to get dark in here otherwise. <laughs> right, here we go. So there you go, the Bluetti is now disconnected. We'll turn on the Jackery. So now the Jackery is powering my lights in my van. Let's turn those ones on. But my studio lights have gone off, I need to turn those on manually, but we'll leave those off because they do draw a lot of power. You can see it's drawing 24 watts and that is just my lights. I'm going to turn my fridge off as well, <clears throat> so it's not just in case the fridge turns on and draws more power than necessary. So here we go, moment of truth. 
let's switch it on. Switching on my heater. We'll see this jump in a minute. Here we go, 58 watts. Let's bring you in a bit closer. Let's move that there so you can actually see the screen. Very interesting to see what happens now it's charged up. Because theoretically, you should a lithium battery should be able to put out the same amount of power whether it's 100% charged or 30% charged it should be able to cope the, my, my lights on my ceiling have gone really dim look at this they've gone really dim now and 145 watts that's got to be maxing out now because it's 12 volt 10 amps it should only be able to draw 120 watts Sorry if this is a little bit boring, it's taken a while to turn on. But my diesel heater is definitely still going through the cycle. Yeah, my lights are flickering now because the pump of the diesel heater <laughs> is not happy. Yeah, if I turn my torch off, you'll see. Now, the, the pump is kicking in, it's actually making the lights flicker. Oh, hang on. What was that? <laughs> this. Look at the screen on my diesel heater controller. Oh, it's cut out. It's cut out. It didn't do it. Oh, well, there you go. So, uh, that confirms the Jackery cannot run a diesel heater. It's actually shit itself again. Look at that. Well there you go, Jackery 2000 Pro cannot run a diesel heater whether it's 30% charged or 100% charged. That certainly satisfies my curiosity, I hope it satisfies yours too. Now if you'd like me to put other power packs through the same test, then please do leave a comment in the comment section of this video. And if you've got any questions for me for next week, then start those questions with hashtag Waffle on a Wednesday. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video to the end. If you enjoyed it, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Ta-la for now.